Well, there's a major story that we're monitoring out of the nation's second city, Freeport, Grand Bahama. It's a delicate situation. The Cooper family, who are operators of several major fast food franchise businesses and restaurants in Freeport, have been accused of stealing electricity from the Grand Bahama Power Company. Now, the fast food franchise operators are categorically and emphatically denying these charges. And like I said, it's a situation that uh, we're monitoring. Our news team is monitoring. But uh, the Cooper family claims the controversy is due to widely used energy saving devices installed at the businesses in question and not electricity theft. Now, this situation is impacting jobs at some of those franchise uh, restaurants and stores, uh, 500 to be exact. And uh, so uh, it's an interesting situation. And here joining us live on the Bahamas tonight as a Minister of State for Grand Bahama, the Honorable Crazy Thompson, who's providing some light, uh, providing some information and insight into this whole matter. Good evening, sir. How are you doing? Uh, good evening, uh, Desmond. I want to thank you for having, uh, having me here um, to provide uh, uh, some update for uh, the community in Grand Bahama on what really has become a very serious situation. Okay, first off, w this seems to be a, s a civil matter. Uh, why the government involvement? Talk about government's involvement in this whole situation. You know, ever since the story broke uh, late last week, uh, we've been monitoring the situation, and it's serious because it has affected a number of businesses. And at the moment, uh, a number of those businesses uh, are not connected to the grid, but they are on generator. Uh, we've been monitoring it. We've been in constant communication, really, with the power company. Uh, and we believe that this is a matter that can be amicably resolved. Uh, we are encouraging the parties to talk. Uh, we know that talks uh, uh, took place today. Uh, and so we are encouraging them to talk so that this matter can be fairly uh, resolved with all of the parties uh, and those restaurants and businesses can be brought back to some normalcy. What about the solar energy supplier? Um, should the police be targeting uh, the solar energy supplier? Well, again, we are at a very, very early stage. Uh, there has been some information passed on uh, to the police. We know that the police have been involved in the situation. Uh, so I don't want to speak to... Uh, the police investigation. Uh, but from a community standpoint and from the Grand Bahama economy standpoint, uh, we're very concerned, obviously, for the businesses. And we're also concerned for the power company. And so we believe this is something that can be resolved. Uh, we are encouraging the power company and those businesses to continue to talk. We know that they uh, spoke today. Uh, and we know that uh, a, a fair resolution uh, can be brought. So we're very hopeful that uh, a fair resolution is going to be brought between the power company and those businesses. So very quickly, some of those franchise uh, restaurants are operating on generators, correct? Yeah, at the moment, what we've been advised is they are off the grid. However, they are operating on generators. So the businesses are operating. Uh, employees are still employed. That's the important thing. But we know it's a challenging situation for those businesses. So we are our concern and that's why we have been encouraging those parties to talk we know that they are continuing to talk and we're hopeful that there's going to be an amicable fair resolution well, what needs to happen to avoid situations like this happening again because you have innocent people involved you have uh, hard-working Bahamians entrepreneurs who want to contribute to the success of the Bahamian economy what what needs to happen now? And talk about government regulations in this whole exercise. So again, I, I want to remind persons that uh, in the Freeport area uh, and in Grand Bahama, the power company is uh, regulated by the Port Authority. So I don't want to speak uh, specifically to the regulations. Uh, and again, because there's a police investigation, we really don't want to speak to it. I'm sure that the power company uh, will be coming out with their statement. They will be speaking to their customers and they will be advising those customers on what they should be doing. But again, what we want to do is to assure the public that the government is concerned, the government is mindful, we are in talks with them, we are encouraging them to have a fair, amicable resolution to the problem. All right, thank you very much. The Minister of State for Grand Bahama, Gracie Thompson, uh, joining us on our live newscast to provide some insight and to shed light on that situation in Grand Bahama as uh, we articulated 
before or earlier. It's a very delicate situation, uh, but we hope uh, everything can be resolved. As you said, uh, look for an amicable resolution very shortly. Thanks again. Thank you, Desmond.